Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing a reverse French today using the Perfect Nails products. This is the Perfect Nails Cover Peach Powder. Um, it's quite new but it is absolutely lovely to work with. Um, very creamy consistency, really nice. And this is the Perfect Nails size 12 brush. So it allows you to pick up a lot of liquid so you've got a lot of time to work on your smile line and on your structure. Really nice products. So I'm just creating my smile line using that reverse method and using that tip of my brush to really keep that smile line nice and crisp. And then obviously because I'm working on quite a large nail I'm going to do my cover pink in three beads. So make sure the back of that bead, that second bead, is nice and flat so that when you place that third bead on um, it blends in nicely. And just keep checking that smile line making sure no product's gone back over it. So onto my last bead of cover pink now. Again, make sure that your brush gets behind that bead so that you don't have a ledge at the back of the nail. Obviously it would be slightly different on a client. And to tidy that smile line up. Now I'm going to be using some Crystal Nails metallic um, acrylic powders. I absolutely love these. They are a beautiful colour. Um, the gold and the bronze. We also have a silver in this as well. It's really nice. If you just place them on as beads, they actually look like little bulbarians, but um, if you're using them as a French design like I am now, you get a beautiful metallic finish. So just fill that tip up, nice and thin because you're going to cap this. So it's just there for design. So now I can use the Perfect Nails Clear to cap my free edge. And you can see design work doesn't have to be thick, especially if you're using high pigment powders like the Crystal Nails ones. Keep looking from the side angle, checking your nail and checking you know you've got enough acrylic on in every area. Now I'm just checking my apex. So I'm just going to put a little bit of clear on just to build that apex back up. And can you see I've just got a little dip there so I'm going to put a little bit more clear just there so that we get a nice apex. And then we can wait for that to set and then we can file. So just file your nail nice and smooth. Once you've finished filing then you can use a white block just to smooth that whole area out. But it is quite soft to file this Perfect Nails acrylic powder so it doesn't take a lot of filing at all, it's lovely to work with. And then get rid of your dust. Then I'm going to use the Perfect Nail Top Gel which is a lovely shiny top gel to go over the top of hard gels and acrylics, not over gel polish. You just need one coat of this and into your lamp. If it's LED, 30 seconds and if it's UV, 2 minutes. So once that nail's come out of the lamp and it's nice and set, I'm going to use my Crystal Nails Royal Gels. I'm using the white one which is 06 and my Barber 2 brush. And I'm just going to create a nice swirly pattern which will be great for your Christmas clients. Because you're working with gel and not paint, you've got plenty of time to work on your design. You can just keep going back over it until you're happy. And when you're creating the swirls, you don't have to do it in one, you can do it in sections.
So I do recommend that you buy two barber brushes, one that you can use with your acrylic paints or your one move paints and one that you can use with gel so that you're not cleansing um, your acrylic paint brush with gel cleanse, you're just doing that on the one barber brush that you're using for gel. Just fill in any little gaps that you've got just with some nice little commas. Remember if you're wanting thinner lines to lift that brush up so that you're using the point of the brush. Then we can use our mermaid glitter. I'm using number three, nice and fine. And just sprinkle it over the whole design while it's still wet. Over the top of your glitter pot and then the excess will fall in. And then you can just tap off your excess and that can go into your lamp for 30 seconds if it's LED. Once that comes out just brush off your excess mermaid glitter and that's that nail done. 